I think that John Hughes and Harold Ramis hit something that was universal. I think everybody sees themselves in the family, in the frustration of wanting to be closer to your family and have life experiences, but you're still all kind of messed up and, you know, the different personalities and how they clash and kind of convolute to create more problems than solutions. And, you know, I think that we felt when we look back at the original when New Line and I first had a conversation about rebooting it, you know, I said there's such a universal story here and I think the funny thing is that everybody makes the mistake of the next generation which is that, you know, your family vacations are mostly complicated and difficult when you're a kid and when you're a parent too, but somehow when you get older and you look back at the pictures, you have this nostalgia that makes you kind of believe that they were much warmer and much more meaningful than they maybe were. And that drives you to probably make the same mistake again. And that simple premise was something that um, seemed like an easy way to launch back into the story. The script came in and they just wrote one of the funniest scripts I've ever read. And I couldn't, none of us could quite believe it. And so from there became the conversation of, oh, hey, you know, the boys actually were hoping to direct it as well, and we hadn't uh, picked a director. And um, they came in, they had done storyboards, and they had done some visuals for it, and they really understood it. They were like just a perfect team, you could see. Um, and so they, they just ended up being the perfect fit for this thing, and they did an amazing job. It stands alone as a movie. You don't have to have seen the original. It's really, really funny. And you know, look, the thing that I love about, I think most comedies don't weather well over time. I think if you go back and watch a lot of movies, they don't. And the exception being the really, truly irreverent R-rated work does. And if you look at the original Vacation, I mean, there are things in it that honestly would be hard to get past a studio today. You know, my daddy ta taught me how to French kiss and you know, all that kind of stuff is really racy and it stands the test of time. And, you know, at least for me, being from the R-rated comedy world, I, I wanted it to be irreverent again. Like, I really wanted it to have something that was really edgy and challenging for the audience because I like where funny lives in that, in that spot. And again, they wrote a truly irreverent, really kind of dark and racy script in its own way and it, and it worked and they still have warmth in it and it still has a lot of heart and it still gets you back to the, some of the emotional stuff that the first one did you know you, you get those couple warm moments and you're really surprised that the movie accomplishes that I think that in the middle of the whole thing is a father who is hell-bent with good intentions to make this thing work and everything that piles you know Murphy's Law just piles up against him as it does for all of us time and time again and I think that thwarted intention that that frustration I think it's real again I think th things are really funny when they resonate with us and they vibrate on a certain level because we relate and all of a sudden we're in someone's shoes there's no way it would feel right without them uh, you know was the script absolutely hilarious and would the movie have gotten made without them I have no idea but you know, the, the conversations happened and nobody really wanted to go there. No one wanted to imagine the film without them. You know, I mean, that's the, that's the connective tissue and, and also just kind of like the cherry on top. And they show, up, they're, they're used, they, they show up in the movie perfectly. They're both amazing. You feel the connection to the original. It feels organic. You know, it doesn't feel like we manipulate it. And they don't feel like cameos. They feel like they're in the movie. The movie's about Rusty, who is Clark's son from the original Vacations, and he is finding that, you know, his family's starting to grow up and grow apart as they do, and his kids are re reaching adolescence, and everyone's kind of, you know, feeling a distance, and decides that he looks back at his old pictures of his old vacations, and he has nostalgia, and it's like, those were the happiest times. And his wife's like, you said those vacations were horrible. He's like, well, I, that's because, you know, I remember them now differently, as we do. And so he decides to recreate the family vacation he went on when he was a kid. Um, and hijinks ensues. <laughs>